This is a bonus video. So I've seen this come up many times in a lot of Facebook groups. And the question I always see pop up is, when can I get my kids to play tabletop RPGs? We're gonna talk about that here on Master the Game. I am Juice, let's get started. Make sure you head on over to rpgjuice.com where you can get caught up on the latest videos, the latest news, and blog posts from Juice himself. Before we get started, if this is a topic you have been interested in for a little bit, be sure to hammer that like button, smash that subscribe button for more, and leave a comment if there's anything in this video that interests you, or if you have any questions about anything I discussed. I've been playing RPGs now for many years. I actually got into tabletop RPGs when I was about 12, and I feel like that was a great time and a great age to really get into a system that I think was a little more complex. I got into Heroes Unlimited. Now, my wife has been playing since she was around that age as well with her siblings, and they played 2nd edition D&D. And so I, it seems like that middle school age is the perfect age to get kids into your typical tabletop RPGs. However, a lot of times when I see the question asked in Facebook groups and things like that, people are talking about toddlers. They're talking about their four-year-old kids, and that is where things get a little more difficult. So I have two children right now. I have a third on the way, and my daughter is now seven. With her, there's been a lot of trial and error over the last, I'd say, four years. I've wanted to get her into tabletop RPGs for a very long time because it's something I'm so passionate about, obviously. And she's expressed interest in things like the dice and stuff like that, which for a child is extremely um, common for kids to be interested in what their parents are into. So I'm not surprised by this. So I started by letting her roll my dice when I was prepping. We'd sit up at the bar to the kitchen uh, at my in-law's place when we were staying there for a while, and she would roll dice while I'd do my prep. And I'd give her different dice here and there, and, and she absolutely loved it. Well, then I was like, hmm, I wonder if she could handle playing this. I, I waited. So I, eventually, I let her try playing. And I would say she was about four years old, and what we tried the first time was just hey, here's a miniature, because she, she had liked certain miniatures, and let's go through this little dungeon. And she used a Paizo flip mat and had her go through the dungeon. She made it about a half hour before she couldn't really handle it, and it just became her wanting to play. So for me, I think miniatures are a little much for a four-year-old, just my take on it. Now, you might have a child who is much more patient. Uh, from my experience with my daughter, four is probably just too young and i feel like my daughter at four years old was very patient she's actually been a very well-behaved child very easy to um get to focus on things when you need them to um unlike my son right now he's probably going to take a little bit longer to play rpgs to be honest but then uh we tried again uh, when my daughter was about five uh older five almost six we tried again, and she made it about an hour, hour and a half. Um, it was fun, and it kind of went the same way where I put a flip mat down, I let her control some characters, and we played, uh, until it got to a point where she just wanted to play with the miniatures. Again, hit a certain time where it was like, okay. She's kind of exhausted her sitting still and playing and staying focused on what's going on. And so that was a successful attempt, I feel. It gave me a feel for what she could handle, and what I could handle with her. And so I think when she hit five, I would say an hour was a good enough time. Now, she didn't know what we were using, but I would just give her dice and tell her what to roll. And we were play basically playing a modified version of fifth edition D&D. &D. Now, you'll know that back here somewhere, I do have No Thank You Evil. We have yet to play No Thank You Evil. I would like to do it soon because I think she would enjoy it. And I think that the characters in it and things like that would really appeal to her. So we'll probably try that here soon. But um, 
we've been having a lot of fun now, she, now that she's seven, we've been having a lot of fun with 5th edition D&D. Now again, I haven't given her a character sheet yet, but I've let her control multiple characters. I've told her what dice to roll. I've given her certain abilities that aren't necessarily 5th edition abilities. I've just said, hey, you can do this, this, or this. And she's been having a blast with it. We play for about two hours. I think last time we went even over that. It was recorded. Uh, it is over on the Tabletop Gaming with Juice YouTube channel. So you can go check that out there. I'll post a link to that below. And she really started to show initiative in trying to come up with creative ideas that time. You'll, you'll see it in that video. She is really interested in you know how things affect other things and making them do certain things. And because of this, she really wants to control the monsters next time. I just want to give a quick shout out to the software D&D &D Beyond. If you're playing D&D &D and you're not using D&D &D Beyond, you are missing out. So head on over to D&D &D Beyond. You'll just need a Twitch account to get started and check it out. See what they have to offer. I guarantee you it will improve your gaming experience beyond your wildest dreams. So we're going to give that a shot. Can a child DM a game? We will find out. <laughs> Is 7 okay to DM a game? I don't know. But again, we're going to find out. Now, I've heard stories of people playing games like No Thank You Evil, Dagger, uh, Kids. I think it's Hero Kids is, is the game. Um, and there's others. There's one I just saw the other day that was on a, a sponsored Facebook ad. Um, like Adventures. Gosh, I can't remember. But there's a lot out there. If you look up tabletop RPGs for kids, you'll get a slew of them. And everything I've heard from interviews with game designers and things like that, kids actually are really good at tabletop RPGs. The, the deeper question is when should you get them into them, but it goes another level deeper. What kind of game do you want to play with them? Do you want to play a game that you like, like Star Wars or your fantasy setting? Or do you want to play something that they're going to like, that's going to be appeasing to them, such as saving Santa Claus and his elves so Christmas can happen, and fighting the gingerbread men and snowmen in order to save him, or whatever. You know, what, are you, what is it you're hoping to get out of the experience? I think for something more, you know, more fantasy-like, you know, Lord of the Rings and stuff like that, I think you want to get closer to middle school. It, and that doesn't mean you can't play with them younger. I just think when it comes down to it, you're going to have to have an understanding of your own child. Um, keeping it lighthearted and, you know, don't worry so much about combat. Try to come up with better solutions to problems. And I think you'll see that the kids will really do well. In fact, most kids probably are better at problem solving without combat than they are with it. Um, in fact, if you ever watch your kids play, see what they're doing. And you can make an RPG around that. I know my kids, when they play, are sometimes playing either based on the cartoons they're watching at the time or anything big happening around the house. Like, for example, my I've seen my daughter playing um, with her toys, and what they come up with is cooking dinner for the kids. And we got a dog last year. I remember once we got the dog, the kids really wanted to play puppy dog, and they pretended they were dogs. So again, these are types of things that your kids would want to play in a tabletop RPG. I know it's wild. <laughs> and for some of us, it might not be the most interesting thing for us. But it will be a lot of fun for your kids. So keep that in mind. So can kids play RPGs? Yes, without a doubt. And the age is what's going to determine what they want to play, um, the way they want to play. And I think you need to be flexible with that. Because, you know, if, if you have kids, you know kids are changing constantly. Every three to six months, they go through a whole new phase. Things they're interested in. Like right now, my daughter's really into Pokemon. Um, three months ago, she was really into uh, Octonauts. Um, my son right now is obsessed with squids. Six months ago, he was obsessed with dogs and dragons and snakes. You know, so again, it's constantly changing. So again, a lot of this is just going to be specializing it around what your children like. If you're still watching this, I know you like this. So hammer that like button, smash that subscribe button if you want to see more. 
and leave a comment below with your big takeaways from this video. I am Juice, this is Master the Game, game on.